What's good, rough Bree gang, gang, gang? Stop playing. You already know what I'm saying, man. How are y'all feeling today on this marvelous, glorious day? I'm not even trying to waste no time. Like, comment, subscribe, all that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already know the vibes. Um, yeah, before the video even starts, go ahead and like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you're not new to the channel, you already know what I'm about to say. Why haven't you subscribed? You clearly like the kid. You're back for more. I mean, I feel like I deserve a subscription for you. I mean, it's free, right? Anyway, y'all, at the end of this video, please be sure to comment. And without further ado, let's get into it. I'm kind of excited about this one. Okay, so guys, today... Oh, and before we um do get into the video, uh, you know... Disclaimer, I will be talking somewhat about the Ten Commandments. Like, that's kind of a part of this. So, like, and I'm not for the Ten Commandments. So, if that might offend you, you know. You ain't really got to stay. But, um, you know, you guys, you already know the vibes. Open your minds. Pay attention. Pay attention to all the signs. Stop playing. And, um, yeah. Mind you, I'm not bashing anything. I, I never bash, though. All, you know, y'all know my sole purpose here is to push you on, wake you up, and let you see the red flags. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Today, we're talking about the Georgia Guidestones. <laughs> and then, you know what? I know a lot of people don't even know anything about this. But I was talking to my friend about this the other day. And I'm just like, man, let me put the people on, too. And it's crazy, guys, because it's it's not like this is a small, tiny... Thing. This is a major thing. I don't know how it didn't make all news lines. It, I mean, it was, let's say, give or take 40, 41 years ago. So maybe they made more of a fuss about it. But I just feel like it should be, it should be even more of a fuss. What do you mean? I feel like there should be so much attention to these Georgia Guidestones. Like, all right. So, like I said, y'all, it was about 40 or 41 years ago. Because, um, yeah, I think I have the... All right, you know, I'll get there. Okay, so basically, guys, it's these big, humongous night. I'm, these are numbers, y'all. I did, I, re, I looked it up. These are real numbers. 19 feet high, a quarter million pounds of stone, guys, of stone. And it's built on a farm outside of Atlanta, guys. I want to say... Yeah, it's 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 on a farm outside of Atlanta Atlanta. Um yeah. So these stones like guys, already think about this. Like I want I don't know if y'all know what 19 feet is and a quarter million pounds of stone is. I don't know if y'all even could I don't know if y'all could picture that in your mind. Cause you know, I've never seen that much of stones or that tall or anything for real, for real. I mean, other than sky skyscrapers and stuff, but you know, not no, just some stones. Like anyway, guys, so it's these tall ass rocks, guys, tall. And they're, they're, they're just, they're just out there guys. And the way they came about, mind you, I don't even have the real name because the real, the, 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 the dude who built it, is anonymous and he wanted to remain anonymous he went by rc christian um and he he's the one who paid for it to be built but even the people who were building it the builders the people he bought the stuff from they didn't know what was going on they don't know why he was doing that and he didn't want to give any answers he didn't he didn't nothing the only thing i collected was that he represented a group a group of people who were planning this this to build this thing for at least 20 years that's that's what i know that's what i know but like i said he's anonymous even even um let's see yeah 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 so even the dude wayne mullinax that was his name i and he bought it on i want to say october 1st night he bought he bought five lakers of wayne mullinax land just to build this even he doesn't know why now, there was, and I suck because I didn't get there. There was the one dude who, who, RC, who RC was talking to about it. He doesn't say anything. He doesn't say much. Even if you guys look it up, he's not giving much of much answers because it, it needs to be kept a secret, guys. So, 
But anyway, I, I really just want to bring your guys' attention to what is written on the stones, guys. Okay? So, first of all, the languages on the stones, like, okay, there's, there's like 10 rules or whatever you want to call it written on the stones. Along with other things, but right now we're focusing on the 10 main rules written on the stone. Mind you, it's in English, Russian, Egypt, Arabic, Chinese, Swahili, Hindi, and Hebrew. And I also think that there was, there's something else that's written on the top part of it. You know what I'm saying? On the top of the thing. And if you guys actually pause the video and just go look up what it looks like, it'll make more sense. I promise it's something, it's really quick. But on the top, there's like four ancient uh, languages on the top. Something like that, guys. Um, but yeah, all those languages, guys, all those languages, you want, you, I, I'm still, I'm still like, it's not a red flag to y'all yet. Like, I'm still trying to figure out why it's not a major thing. I, I don't get it. Anyway, let's go. Let's go. So I want to read y'all what the rules that are written on this monument, like on this monument that is still anonymous on who even paid for it, the group that paid for it, it's anonymous till this day. Whatever though, here we go, right? So, on it, I'm gonna read all 10 guys, I'll, I'll try to read it quick. Okay, the rules are maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. Now, before y'all go crazy about that, I mean, the world is overpopulated right now. That's a proven fact. There's too much people on the world right in the world right now. You could be mad at me for saying that. You could say whatever you want, but it's a it's it's the truth. Like, it's it's true. The world it's it's overpopulated. I mean, it's so overpopulated or whatever. I'm not, and I'm pretty sure they still do this in China where the the people in China can only have one baby. That's in China. You know what I'm saying? They're making them kind of rules over there in China with that. One baby per family or something like that. You know, don't don't quote me. You can look it up. But, um, okay, number two. Guide reproduction wisely, improving fitness and diversity. I feel like that's self-explanatory. Number three. Unite humanity with a living new language. Okay. Number four. Rule passion, faith, tradition, all things with tempered reason. All right? Let's go. There's 10 guys, so we're at five now. Number five, protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts. Six, let all nations rule internally, resolving external disputes in a world court. Seven, avoid petty laws and useless officials. What do I always say? Anyways, eight, balance personal rights with social duties. Nine, we got nine, prize truth. Be prize, truth with a little dash, beauty with a little dash, love with a little dash, seeking harmony with the infinite. Number 10, be not a cancer on the earth, leave room for nature, including animals. It doesn't say, I'm sorry y'all, that's not, the, the rule is be not a cancer on the earth, leave room for nature, leave room for nature. They said it twice. They said, leave room for nature, leave room for nature. What's in nature? I, well, this is, now I'm chiming in. Now I, it's my time. I'm chiming in. Let me let y'all know what's nature, animals. But that's a whole nother story. We're not going to get into that. Now, remember in the beginning of this video, I told y'all I was going to kind of use something from the religion. I'm going to talk about the Ten Commandments. I just feel like, because you know me, I love pointing out you know, red flags. I want y'all to be like, oh, sh let me go look that up. That's all I want. The Ten Commandments. <laughs> Did y'all, first of all, let's go back. Let's go back to the guy stones, right? The guy stones. Did you guys hear those rules? Are you serious? On some 19, now, now, we don't follow any of those rules. Ain't it funny? It's funny. And this world is like falling apart. Cause, uh, but whatever, anyways. So I want to read the Ten Commandments to y'all. Here we go. <laughs> One, I am the Lord that, oh, and before y'all come at me, I don't know the exact wording, but you know, I try to gather it from everywhere. I was trying to read because it seemed like some of the words were a little different in the Ten Commandments. But I'm like, let me check. Let me make sure because I don't got time for the people to come at me. So y'all know the Ten Commandments, right? Okay. I am the Lord thy God. That's one. Thou shalt not 
Thou shalt have no other gods before me. That's two. Hmm, that sounds real similar, no? Three. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Hmm. That's, that's, was that three? That's, yeah, yeah, that's three right there. Number four. Thou shalt not take the name of thy Lord, thy God in vain. Number five. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Now, I almost thought right there, right? And now, I'm gonna stop right there and I'm gonna read y'all the last one. Cause y'all, y'all know the Ten Commandments, right? If you don't look it up, look it up. But um, those first five of the Ten Commandments, like, did you hear those compared to compared to the guidestones? What the what kind of rule is that? What what are what, the first five is about not not uh praising a false god, basically, not taking the Lord's name in vain, basically, or whatever. That it's basically that the same five directions. It's basically saying you must believe in one God and one God only. Blah blah blah. All have to do with the same thing. Now these are some, the Ten Commandments, right? They're written. They're they're for the world. They're for the religion. They're for it. But they how do you get five of the same rules in? Ten, ten commandments. How does that, the first five of the gu guys, I'm not even going to read the first, guide reproduction wisely, improving fitness and diversity. Hmm. That, these are the guy stones. Hmm. That, that makes sense. Like, you know, that makes sense. That sounds something for the world. Unite humanity with a living new language. Questionable, but okay. Makes sense, you know, so we can be united. Rule, passion, faith, tradition, all things with tempered reason. And I'll read one more again just to remind you. Protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts. I read you guys a list from like the first six. And again, I'm going to go back to the Ten Commandments. The first five. These are supposed to be commandments for the world to follow. Are, the first five are talking about not, base, not worshiping another God, not give, taking the Lord's name in vain saying that that the lord is god like what how i just huh. hey now i want to bring your attention to this last commandment guys <laughs> I, I know a lot of y'all don't know this but and maybe some of y'all do and y'all are gonna give me some crazy explanation right as to why i'm just a psychopath but um um the last one it's cut short for thou shalt not covet I don't, maybe I'm pronouncing the word COVID, 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 whatever. Thou, that sounded better. Thou shalt not COVID, COVID. But did you know that it, no, I'm not talking about thou shalt not COVID thy neighbor. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not COVID thy neighbor house. Thou shalt not all that. I'm not even talking about that. There's the 10th commandment and it's, Thou shalt not covet, but ah, they cut it off. But it is thou shalt not covet neighbors, slaves. And you know what? If you go look it up, y'all are going to be like, oh, whatever. Maybe that's a different word because I looked it up somewhere else and it said manservants, right? Tell me. And then it said, okay, so neighbors, slaves, animals, or anything of thy neighbors. Y'all just like, you, you shouldn't covet anything of covet anything of your neighbors. Now, if God wrote this, right, because he, God wrote it and he gave it to Moses and Moses read it to the people on the hill or however it works, because maybe I'm wrong. Um, why, why would the Lord, he, the Lord of the, the Lord of the earth, of the universe, right? Thou shalt not covet neighbor slaves. Because having slaves is pretty bad of a thing, right? Oh, I don't know, guys. Maybe I'm tripping, but I just, you know, I like to bring your attention to all these things, you know, and if you want a part two, drop a part two. I might give you a part two anyway, because I'm running out of time. You already know. You already know. Go look up Georgia Guidestone. Stop playing. Girl. Stop playing with me, guys. Stop playing with me. That's the real spiel. It's in Georgia, too. If you don't believe me, you can go look. And you can go look. It is what it is, though. It is what it is, though. Y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see one day. Y'all gonna see one day. Hey, comment down below if you want me to drop a part two of the Georgia Guidestones. We can get deeper into it, guys. This was this was a very interesting topic to me. I want you guys to do a little compare and contrast and let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. All them things bless up. Bless up, Rough Breed Gang.
all right, we out!